Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Android 800 Mega City. Glad so many of you are still sticking around, you're still enjoying uh, my my tiny city, my amateurish uh, building style. And yeah, looking at the skyline, looking at my balloon, who doesn't like balloons? And of course, the most important thing in any city, trains! Choo -choo! From down here, with all their different colors and variations there. Uh, driving through my city now i'm standing up here on a on this uh, little plateau that goes up then all the way and this is where we begin this episode however we got great things in store we are going to build a prison we're going to implement public transportation to crown falls um as well so lots of interesting things uh, the first one is uh, though this area some upgrades are due uh we do have the farmers here Let's go ahead and upgrade a few more of them, of these bunches. Um, I'm rather low on farmers, but I'm not worried about this too much, right? So we're going to just uh, go ahead with uh, those guys here. And the remaining farmer workforce uh, we can replenish right away in Orestes, for example. So here uh, we do have, of course, more timber. And I can just go ahead and get us a few more blocks of basic of basic pescatarians out there it's really not that many because it's expensive but each building here houses quite a few people right so 65 going all the way up there and this is helping us then a bit um covering that even though we don't really need that many farmers anymore at all now at my city let's have a look the department store is working now providing toast or toasters to the city that means that finally we can also go ahead and upgrade a whole bunch of new um, tier 2 skyscrapers, so tier 1 to tier 2. And yeah, I would like to go ahead by starting with my... Is that tier 3? Yep, that is tier 3. We got a whole bunch of them. Actually, I think that's all we can do right away. Let's go ahead and upgrade them. Boom, there it is. We're actually negative there temporarily um, because of the maintenance costs, right? And the needs need to come in. But as we can see, it is recovering then. Yes, but skyscrapers are expensive. So we're still on the way then also to... Uh, cover a few more things so jewelry would be one of them right um, but that's that uh, we have that and i think we are out of the elevators now so i'm going to wait a bit and then we're going to upgrade the next tier two ones that are going to receive then the panorama effect very important because with this we are also going to get lower paying uh, skyscrapers then along the way this is why i waited with skyscrapers so long until i was sure that miss hunt is gone because it's really really necessary that we have a bit of peace and quiet uh, without war. Um, Bent is brewing a bit in the background. We are constantly losing reputation. I'm trying yes. to, to get it up there again. I'm showering her with my dirty money. But it's not helping that much anymore, right? So in, 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 in the beginning, it was like three or four points that we got, or two points at the worst, but now it's only one point or nothing at all. Um, and I also cannot give her a second gift anymore. Chance of success is then zero right away. So the parameter definitely changed in the background with her. Um, it's a bit more hostile now, a bit more neutral at the moment. It's also, of course, because she has such a ridiculous military score. And that might be a problem a in the future. So destroying one opponent just leads to the next one, honestly. And um, Bente is going to be no small fish. Her military score is way higher than that of Miss Hunt. Um, and for that reason, uh, we probably should continue also getting us a few more Dreadnoughts out, just in case, because I really don't want to, to fall behind then when a, a surprise war declaration happens. That can very well be. All right, this is that. Um, let's go to the old world real quick. At Eli, I've got two ships of mine. And here, I would like to find Mr. Garrick there once again, so if you remember, right? Or in general, just very good items for the town hall as we can see <laughs> affects skyscrapers maintenance cost plus 10 percent but residents with the department store furniture store or drugstore for need fulfilled are provided with chewing gum billiard tables and violins that is a really good item once we are good on our balance again but for now i I'd rather not go with that because we do have the items available anyway Right, so we got a few items here. Some that boost uh, the direct income of the engineers. Also, Mr. Garrick, once I found him, um, we are now at almost uh, 200,000 per reroll. So I'm going to wait a bit. And then a lot of skyscraper maintenance cost reductions. Let's get this one here over to Crown Falls right away. I might also have a look what the other traders have them. But that is just very important that we boost a bit of our income here and so forth. All right, that's that. Um, yeah, we can upgrade a few more. Uh, I should definitely do this. So... We want to have a few on the on the next level. And then for the next tier, right? So we do get our panorama effect bonuses then in as well. And perhaps also here a few more in the inside. And as we can see, this is helping us out there a bit. We do have quite a lot of tier 4 now. 
<laughs> these are all tier 4 that means there's going to be a whole bunch of new tier 5 ins uh, soon and with that another um, step for the skyline tower all right and let's get cracking with a new system that we want to implement and that is public transportation public transportation is something that you can do with the tourists right so the bus system however we're starting with the train system which is a mod and we are going to use this um to transport people and also post services um, through the city and also creating a central station. Let's go ahead and start with, yeah, where should we begin? Let's actually start with the central station, right? There it is. That's the spot for it. Uh, close to my tracks. I just haven't decided yet either here or here. I think here it makes more sense. So what we need to do first is let's move a couple of buildings around. Let's get rid of this road here. There is the university that I would also like to move. I certainly don't want to destroy anything though. Uh, let's just move them for now all the way over there. And with that, we can move to the university. Uh, yeah, I think... I think we are also going to move a few of these bunches here. Guys, that one and that one. And with that, we have even more room available. I will also need to move those guys here because I need to have a bit of room here for the tracks to go through, right? So this is where the trains will pass through then the monsters. Next up, what I need is my train stations and hotel system. And here we do have now a couple of options. One of them is the central station module one. One of them is the central station module two. And we're going to need uh, a couple of them. They also have different variations, as we can see, to build us that central station. For starters, we need to clip them inside of each other. As we can see, only this will create then a, a version where um, the, the whole thing is together so that we have one building out of that. And yeah, for starters, we're going to use uh, this system here. However, we should look out, uh, watch out where we want to really station it. Of course, first of all, it should be rather central. So something like that. And then we're going to have, of course, here our main track system coming in here as well. So it's getting a lot more busy soon on the tracks. And I don't know if uh, <laughs> dual tracks will be fine as it's already busy. But I think that is just a hotspot there right now. Um, we definitely, definitely have some more room here. Um, and then we are going to, yeah, move them inside. So let's just see how we can do this. Do we need a bit more space between them? I think this I think this will be better. No, we do need to do it like that. Because um, I should rather fix that quickly. Because, of course, I would like to have a bit of distance there for the walls as well. Um, but now that we can do. And let's just, yeah, get us this all the way to here because there's the entrance then and we probably will want to continue then with that wall on the back of the central station but only up to this point there because there's not going to be any oh there is a road connection problem but i'm not going to have the tracks going all the way over there right this will be a total would it be a total waste all right now let's do it different let's not do it like that that would make no sense because uh we we have the problem then that if you want to get over there you would have to take this route here right that is just bonkers but i also don't want to take this route here through the whole district here going through that and then past uh to that track there again this would also be really bonkers because i want to have some more monuments here and uh, having tracks beside the monuments just doesn't seem right to me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have it up here going the tracks through that system there we have plenty of buildings here that i can actually just move over there for now uh it's still going to still going to be a pain to be honest because it's a lot of movement it's a lot of buildings that we need to relocate just temporarily but we can do this i hope <laughs> and those guys here uh, let's have them uh, here and here and here might seem painful at first there's a church uh, a school we no longer need so we can move the the fire station over there to get this room here available to us right that's what i want and then also here very good now we have those tracks and now i can say that i want to have those tracks now going all the way then down i mean i could move all this thing to that side because i think i would like to have it a bit more central then all right much better now we have the space let's take the tracks up there and yeah just have them really going all the way to that side two times and here we're going to make the connection then. And here we're going to split the tracks up then into both of these entrances, right? And also here. 
this is like a dead end station we can we can say um and it's going in and out then again right and it's it's coming together then in this in this spot here there will also be the the exits here um unfortunately i can't get rid of them uh, we need to build something in front of it to hide it so we could do some billboards and stuff like that this is fine um let's also have the the wall then around here this is for the safety of everyone naturally uh by the way let's do it a bit different here and the same thing here All right, a bunch of the people we moved, we can move back. I mean, this is a dense city area, so it makes sense to me to have the buildings right next to the tracks. Uh, let's go ahead. From its and it's basically this whole row there of investors, and I can still have one more up there. Perfect. And on that side, we actually will have some trees. Who would have thought that we still have room for trees? But it would make more sense then on that side to have it. By the way, hmm, just once this one here, let's get this away. So that we have a bit of a path through here, right? Otherwise, those people will be separated forever. And that is a very sad prospect. Ship constructed. With a nice wall. And then we can tr really just have some... Let's have some temperate growth Ship then. Constructed. To fill the void. Not here though. Here we can actually have another building. Close then to the, the central station. All right, let's decorate the front for now. Um, I said I would like to have some billboards. By the way, we can we could activate the, the central station already, but I think it's it's creating letters then, and we do need to have a destination for that. So I'm going to wait on that um, just a bit. Let's actually build a, a smaller station first, right? So central station, hooray. Um, let's go ahead and have a smaller station then in this district. That makes sense. There's a bunch of artisans. What are you doing here? You have no business in this area. Let's move them. Uh, and then we should have room here for a cozy little station. There's only a one-track system anyway. And that would be this small local station. And, yeah, well, the track system is fine for it. Let's actually get rid of all of it. This one and this one. Here. We can then add... Yeah, very good. Something like this. And also have this road system here going through that still. That should work out. Oh boy, this is more complicated than I thought. There you go, this is possible. And here it gets out again to that connection there. And then we have just these walls again to the station itself. And the same thing on that side. And here we actually will need to implement a tree or something. And here we have, have it like so. Right, and then we got our very first small station. As we can see, it does not have any business at the moment. There's no travelers, right? It's not producing anything because it needs to have another destination ready that we are not providing at the moment. I can actually get some of these people back. Um, yeah, to make this also a bit more dense again because I like that to have a bit of density around stations. And then we can just have yeah, some fountains here and whatnot. This is now moving over and I think, I think, yeah, here we can also have a road then. But that's it. The main entrance is here, right? That we should then provide. Perfect. No one's waiting yet at the platform. So now it makes sense to build the central station. 100,000. 200,000 it costs me. It's a beautiful building. Central station of Crown Falls, as we can call it. And in the back, we got our entrances. And as we can see, traveler production is now starting. Two times. And the first travelers are already on the move. Where are they going? I have a feeling. No, actually, they are going up. I thought they were going to the other platform. <laughs> because it usually is doing this when you build the central station first. And off they go. More traffic on my tracks. And one of them should then, there it is, go to our... Oh, both of them are going now to, yep, to that local station here. Where there's five now incoming, as we can see. And then they're also on their way back again to the to the central station. And with that, we have it. Is it still, and that is my question, is it still providing anything? I don't think so, right? Do we have it in lifestyle needs? No, because before the lifestyle needs, you had a need for it, providing travelers, but unfortunately that is gone. So this is really just cosmetic for now, um, as the travelers are being transported over back and forth. We definitely should have a, a central station here by the 
by the world fair so i'm going to going to get rid of uh, this block here we don't need that let's just find us a suitable location those poor salts just had the world fair in front of them and now ah, that view is also not that bad it's not that central anymore though and then An we have the central station here it's a bit nasty to be honest we will probably need to hmm. because of course we need to make sure that we have yeah, i need to get rid of this road here and then i will need to get rid of this track system here for now because we're then going to squeeze in that station Like so. A for a narco uh, Hugo, you are annoying me. And over there and in here again, right? And we definitely should make sure Might take over that we have a crossing here and a crossing here so those trains can enter the station back and forth. Not looking super elegant, but that's how it goes. Actually, here we don't need a wall. Here we just will have that entrance point then and we can actually have a little plus here there's going to be the bus station for the tourists then as well so we are going to keep it like that for now and this is the next station tra producing travelers now from the station look at that 40 50 on the trains already that was quick filling up really quickly and the world fair is now connected as well let's really go back to milk church there real quick because uh, I not I do not I, I don't have the the friendliest allies there I should say, uh yeah this I could also quickly check out do we have some new uh, I can re-roll again. By the way while we're in the area let's take my dreadnoughts and where's Bentis main island that's the one, um let's move let's move them right in oh my goodness, huh, huh, I don't know. We could move it. We could move them over here because they can move there without triggering any sea mines at the moment. So if there's a surprise attack coming in, which I'm fully expecting at this point, uh, we might take down her main island right away. I mean, she has it fortificated on every side like this. Yeah, I don't think that my dreadnoughts will be enough for that. Mm. Yeah, let's just let's get them over there. Even though, of course, a war would be devastating for both of us. Um, for me especially, because the trade routes would be disrupted. And I'm not an AI, so it's going to be really exhausting uh, reworking my, my trade routes there. There is a main island in the new world. It's only fortified it on one side, so this is easier to take, even though it's very broad, very broad defense. Yeah, enough with the doomsdays. Uh, let's continue with uh, some sexy items so we got the coal burner advertisement income per house is uh, in increased by 25 percent um and we do have a whole bunch of these uh, things here uh, for the town halls uh workforce increase of course and income per house 20 percent increase also chance of illness though is increased by 40 percent that's still worth it though because with our improved hospitals we can quickly take care of that i would like to get a few of these here um we can see there's also for the happiness boost but rg usually has a lot of these very interesting items this one is pretty massive. Income per house increased by 40%. And it's also affecting skyscrapers. Uh, so since we have a lot of people uh, living in the skyscrapers, this is going to be quite nice for us. Perhaps one more thing that reduces... Nah, that's just for production buildings. There's no skyscraper um, specific items here that would reduce the, the maintenance cost. So I really just can go with boosts. And yeah, one more boost I'm going to get. And then we also get this one here over to, to Crown Falls. Now back in Crown Falls, the first ship though has arrived already with our trade union items. And of course, we have built a municipal building right over there where we can use it now. For example, Mr. Garrick, all engineers and investors are provided with the jewelry. This should improve now my income quite significantly. Thanks to having another item now coming in. As we can see, there it's coming up. Uh, that is one thing. The other one is the... The reduction of maintenance cost for the skyscrapers. Let's also activate this one. That was pretty massive, 20,000. Um, we probably should also, since the town hall is right in the center, let's quickly check it out. Income per house, of course. Oh, yeah, we got some very good items there already. Um, hmm, I probably will I'm not do anything here. 
Let's get rid of the happiness item uh, because we don't really need happy investors per se. We do have happy investors already. And to me, it doesn't really matter how happy they are. Um, and with that, we can activate another one here, which is going to affect a lot of skyscrapers. And this was 50,000 on the balance right now. Just this single item here with 10% reduction of maintenance costs. We still have two more of these. So I'm going to, of course, using it as much as possible. Um, and then, of course, yeah, we still have our public transportation that I wanted. So another... We have a station here. We definitely want to have, yep, another station right here in the in the center of it all. There is a little bit of ornaments. We probably should keep them. But I'm going to move one block of skyscrapers away there a bit. So we have this spot available for another very good station. Uh, yep, and once again, we will... This is though an, an end station, right? There's no pass through here anymore. So I think it makes sense to make this also like a stopping station. The, um, the point will be here somewhere so we can still have this connection and then it's really just one entrance here and on that side yeah well as usual as with the central station we can also do some billboards here stuff like that something that hides this this whole mess so of course we cannot do the central but we can definitely have two billboards on that side so at least from that side it's looking fine and then probably some enclosed trees around this one here and also one here in the center of it that's just on the back i mean it's not looking that great to be honest because we're still seeing the back of it too i might also just use some enclosed tree and that's it right i think this is this is the safer way of doing it Yeah, then it's just ending in here. This this makes more sense to me. Very good. Another um, another station, and this is a pretty cool one because from this station you can go right to the central park and right to the town center itself, right? So with the train, we have now a nice little system, and that's good for now, I, I I think. Now we have this whole area here now still available, and though I would need to use it as well. Poor salts. I will need to find you a suitable location. Actually, we can make this one darker here, right? There's definitely room for... For two more of these. I mean, it's dense. I get it. But it's fine. It's fine to be dense in this area. There's still room here, though, right? Having those buildings there. This makes... This gets me a bit more room. We don't need that artisan there. Absolutely not. Let's destroy it right away. Um, and then, for a couple more, I think, here... Oh, yeah, I can see. Up there, we still have room for a few more buildings. Um, not the skyscrapers, though. That would be bad. But the skyscrapers, we can move a bit over there. Let's actually finish the ornaments for the, the central station. So we have the road that goes then around it, all the way up to this area. And on the other side, all the way to this area. By the way, there is a, a road missing. And then we got the university in a very good location, by the way. So I might actually put the university in a bit of a bigger or a better uh, spot like this. Right, so we have a bit of a space around it. Doesn't look so cramped. Very good. And then we just need some ornaments, really. And here, of course, as we know, we could also go with some enclosed trees. At this side there. That is a smaller street, though. And I would probably like to go with that setup here. Yeah, here actually the billboards do, do make sense. So I'm going to going to just get us a, a couple of those billboards right here in front of the, the central station. And you don't see the hidden tracks now anymore, any longer. So that is something that I'm absolutely fine with. And then we're just squeezing in some more. How's it there? And boom! We do have way Your more space here again. Buildings point. that I can now really just take and move over. Making this whole thing also cleaner. Cleaner looking, that is. We still have those skyscrapers. We do need to get them a bit more into the town center, though. I can move. Yep, I can definitely move a bunch of, a bunch of these investors here. They don't really mind being moved around. The skyscrapers, however, they would really like to stay in the center. There we have the spot for it. This one, this one, and then also 
and the last one down there. And with that, I can really just safely now move the remaining ones here into one bigger block on that side. Probably those here too. And then also a few more of these skyscrapers we could actually have right next to the central station. Let's make a double road. This looks way too cramped otherwise. Hmm, and with that, I think we're almost done. This space here I would like to reserve for another monument then down the road. Let's keep it like that for now. Um, we can still move some buildings in here if we want to. Or, yeah, we will definitely need to move a few more buildings around. So this spot is really is really just fine for it. Now, that was a lot of investment here, to be honest. I'm sorry we have to stop already. But the prison is coming in then in the next episode and then further details. But for now, we get a public transportation system in the form of trains. Right, the central station, a couple of local stations there as well. Fixed a, a few routes. And, yeah, we can actually also, once more, go into a bit of upgrading as well so i could actually go ahead and upgrade as many tier fours to tier fives these guys here how much did it do for us enough and we can actually also now continue with the next phase of the skyline tower so another very important step that we've taken here stay tuned <laughs> 